What's going on guys, it's Greg here today and I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to bring you guys the Fennec. One of you guys have asked me in the comment section below to review the Fennec as one of my next guns. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you and uh, hopefully this helps you out. So first things first, before we get into the actual class setup and all that kind of stuff, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Fennec and whether I think this gun is actually good or not. I want to talk about it first because... Um, I think it's just a little bit better that way so you guys can get a better understanding of the gun. Um, but the Fennec is a gun that excels at really close ranges. It has really low bullet velocity. The handling on it is kind of rough whenever it comes to aim down sights as well as reload speeds, especially whenever you are starting to stack attachments, your aim down sights will definitely be affected. So... I actually play with this gun almost like it's an assault rifle, but I try to keep my ranges short. And I think that this gun is definitely going to be one of those guns that dominates shoot house and the shipment maps as of season one. Um, so I would definitely recommend using this gun on those maps. You guys will see right here, I earned the fast hands bonus perk, which is a very important perk, especially whenever it comes to reloading this gun, because you're going to be burning through ammo with the uh, Fennec because its fire rate is just so fast. And on top of that, I don't r like running the extended mags on this gun because it slows down the handling way too much. You can get LMG movement speed with this gun if you're not careful with the attachments you're putting on. So that is why I'm going to make sure that with this build that I'm going to be giving you guys today, um, I believe that this build is overall more balanced and versatile, um, and it's going to help you guys use it at extended ranges, and it's also not going to be too slow. Now, one of the things about the Fennec as well, before we get into this, is I want to tell you guys real quick, the Fennec is one of those guns in this game that it might look like it's not going to have a lot of spread and horizontal variance because um, it doesn't have a lot of idle sway, especially with proper attachments. But don't be fooled. This gun has horrible, horrible horizontal recoil and spread. So it is not going to be mapping people down range without burst firing and stacking attachments to control recoil. And even then, you're, the bullet velocity is going to come into play. And overall, it's going to be hard to use down range. And it's not rewarding at all down range. Trust me on that. The time to kill is nothing special. So it's definitely a gun that you're going to want to stick to close quarters. And I've learned this the hard way many times. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over my class setup that I've built for you guys on what I think is going to be the absolute best way to run this gun for the most consistent medium range kills. And by that, I mean out to like 25-ish meters. If you go into firing range, that's the second target. As well as it's going to be decent handling, so that way you guys can pull up pretty quick and not have to worry about being too slow in close quarters. Anyways, here we are. This is my build and recommended build for the Fennec 45. So it's going to be the Bruin Cubic Compensator, the Phase 3 Grip Underbarrel, the 1 milliwatt Quickfire Laser, the Slimline Pro Optic, and the Fennec Stippled Grip Tape for the rear grip. So Infinity Ward has actually changed how the tuning works. Apparently it was bugged, so now it should be working properly. So I had to readjust my tuning settings for this video. I have plus 0.03 on recoil steadiness for a little bit of an extra boost, and then I also have plus 0.26 on aiming idle stability. Again, we want to lower aiming idle stability to reduce the ridiculous spread, and we want a little bit more recoil control because it can get pretty hectic on this gun. Phase 3 underbarrel is definitely one of my favorite attachments for reducing spread as well as horizontal recoil, which is why I have it maxed out in recoil stabilization for the most benefit, as well as plus 0.17 on the aiming idle stability, just so that way we have a little bit of less spread on this gun. But after this, there's not really much we can do more for aiming stability. So the only other way to reduce our spread is going to be with the compensator, which is our next attachment. And finally, we have the Bruin Cubic Compensator, which is going to help us a lot with horizontal and vertical recoil. And if you guys shoot this at the wall, you'll notice that it's actually pretty tight. Now, it still deviates quite a bit but that's just the Fennec for you, and I find this one to be the best muzzle whenever it comes to actually controlling that spread as well as the recoil on this gun. Pretty much just straight vertical with this one. So anyways, the tuning, as you guys can see, we have it set to plus 0.54 in the recoil stabilization and plus 0.17 in the gun kick control. And I find this to be the best sweet spots whenever it comes to tuning for the most benefit without hurting the other stats too much. 
So back to the gameplay, like I've said, the Fennec is one of those guns that's just really hindered whenever it comes to longer ranges, and I would highly recommend that you guys are going to be using this for a map like Shoot House, Shipment, maybe the inside of Farm 18, maybe you could use it on Embassy, El Asilio, whenever it comes to being inside uh, the inside of the building, but if you're going to play somewhere else, you don't want to. Anyways, I was close to my MGB here, and I was getting hunted by this player, and um, yeah, that's why I was playing a little bit slow. I was getting close to an MGB. Wasn't really sure how the spawns were going, especially because there weren't really any UAVs or anything going up. So I was just making sure I was taking my time. So that way I could go ahead and guarantee myself this MGB. Another thing that's really awkward about these lobbies that I tend to play in is a lot of people just leave the game and constantly join in. And one of the things I've noticed in this game, if you guys really hate skill-based matchmaking, is if you can get the initial players to leave the lobby, which is generally going to be the sweatier players, right? Whenever you get into a skill-based matchmaking lobby. The sweats will leave if they're getting contested, if they don't want to deal with it. And the people that it refreshes the lobby with really feel like skill-based matchmaking is turned off for the most part. Sometimes they'll put some really good players in. Most of the time, it just seems to just throw random average people into the game. So, yeah, sometimes my gameplays happen to be that way. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that. I wanted to see what you guys think on that, if you've ever had that experience. Like I said, for me personally, whenever I start winning over the lobby and people leave in the early game, um, it tends to be a little bit easier in the end game whenever the lobby starts refreshing. And also, it's very easy to gain control over the lobby when people start leaving because there's more of your team and there's less of the enemies, so there's way more pressure applied on them than there is on you. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the Fennec, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Have a great day.